Welcome into WRTV News at 6. I'm Amanda Starantino. And I'm Mark Mullins. First tonight, hospitals in central Indiana are preparing for a potential post-holiday surge in COVID-19 patients. Leaders at one local hospital are taking action in ways they say are within their control. Our Alyssa Donovan explains what that means and what you need to know. Now that we're into the new year and holiday celebrations are over, doctors are bracing for the possibility of a surge in COVID-19 patients. A surge hospitals like Franciscan Health may struggle to accommodate. We're uh, still experiencing record high numbers of COVID inpatients. Back in the first months of the pandemic, the highest number of COVID-19 inpatients at the hospital was 47 at any one time. We've been well above double that now for the last several weeks. Between 100 and 115 COVID-19 inpatients on a given day. And now they're preparing for more partly due to the expected post-Christmas, post-holiday surge. Hospitals across Indiana were able to resume elective surgeries as an executive order by Governor Holcomb pausing non-emergent surgeries was lifted last week. Franciscan is continuing the restriction. They'll continue to halt elective surgeries for the next two weeks so that if there is an influx of patients, they'll be able to handle it. Even with the restriction, more COVID patients will still be a challenge. Our critical care capacity has been running at its limit now for several weeks. We, we make uh, the best we can out of the available space that we have. Normally, they'd be accepting transfers from other hospitals, but right now that is very limited. Doctors with Franciscan Health say over the next two weeks is when someone who potentially was infected at a holiday gathering would start to present symptoms. So they'll recess their restrictions after that. I'm Alyssa Donovan, WRTV. We did ask Franciscan Health if there are any concerns about the new strain of COVID-19. Administrators say not necessarily at this point, and that's because they're so concerned with the numbers they are seeing now, whether it's the original strain or something new. Hospital officials say they just need to worry about treating the patients. 